On July 20th, 1969, history was made. Just moments after stepping onto the moon, astronaut Neil Armstrong collected the very first sample of lunar rock and soil, known today as Lunar Sample 10022. This small rock was part of a contingency sample to ensure that astronauts were able to bring back some lunar material even if something were to go wrong. It was scooped up along with a surrounding layer of soil, and it marked a groundbreaking moment as the first human-collected sample from an extraterrestrial world. What makes sample 10022 particularly fascinating is its unique texture. Unlike other basalts collected on the Apollo missions, this one contains a higher quantity of rare earth elements and features large round vesicles, suggesting that it formed as a result of explosive volcanic eruptions. Dating back around 3.6 billion years, this sample is classified as a high titanium, high potassium, ilmenite basalt. And this means that it has a strikingly higher percentage of titanium than the basalts that we find here on Earth. It's interesting to note that these high titanium basalts are also rare on the moon, found only within specific regions. Interestingly, this sample is also the first to reveal a brand new mineral that we have since named Armalkalite, named after the astronauts Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins. For around 500 million years, this rock has been exposed to the cosmic rays of our sun and our solar system, and that energy has actually preserved all of the detail within the sample, locking it in for us to discover. Lunar sample 10022 isn't just a rock. It is a piece of our shared human journey into the cosmos. It's a reminder of our quest for knowledge beyond our world.